Hello, loves. Okay, as a teacher, you have to have a strategy. Kind of a big picture strategy that's probably philosophical in nature. So I'm going to share mine with you. And uh, you let me know what you think about it. Well, let me start by saying this. I was working with a professional dancer on Zoom the other day. I do sometimes do that, if you ask. And so let me give you, here's what I see every single time I work with really any dancer, professional or pre-professional adult. This is universally true. And ballet seems to summon this in, in, in just, it's just a thing. You know, you start ballet class and you get very tense right away. There's, there's, a, there's a physical tension which comes from anxiety, right? So my approach, you know, as a sort of seasoned teacher and coach and choreographer now, step one, we have to reduce your anxiety right away. That's the first thing that I do. So particularly in person, what I'll do is place my hand on your collarbone, right around there, and you're the same spot in your back, and the anxiety just melts. It just melts immediately. Then I'll place you a little bit, and then we start warming up from a place, an intellectual, a philosophical, a physical, an emotional place of free of anxiety. Because, I mean, there's just nothing positive or constructive comes from anxiety. Nothing. It's just a killer of everything that is good about being a human being. Anxiety is a, is a real thing. And ballet, just as a, the history and everything involved with it, just immediately anxiety spikes. Immediately. I've never seen it not do that. In any setting, right? Like I said, whether you're... In, a student beginning, an adult, a child, pre-professional, professional, no matter where you are on the spectrum of ballet, anxiety is, is with you right away. It, it just begins right with the class, and there's reasons for that, and I would structure, my class is structured very differently in order to minimize that totally. But believe it or not, and... Uh, I don't really know why we're built this way, but believe it or not, anxiety is innate in us. In other words, it, it, it requires, you have to practice, I'm talking about in ballet now, you have to practice this, this process of alleviating you know, ridding yourself of anxiety before you begin class. So, so for example, when you're in the room with me and we do hands-on, right? This has to be practiced many times, right? It's not just a one-time deal. So, for example, I do this with Svetlana and Misha. I mean, I used to do it all the time. Now they, they kind of have it. But so, for example, let's say we, do, we start a class, we do a warm-up. We begin, this is the very first thing I'm going to do. Stand, you know, you stand at the bar, first position. Let's, let's, let's get rid of that anxiety. And then let's begin. So you begin moving. And then we stop. We do it again and again and again until you start to get into the rhythm of class. Which is just, we need to, we need to get the anxiety out of there. Place your body calm but engaged calm and engaged and then execute the steps from that place and um, so this this is completely encapsulates my teaching philosophy which is we got to get the anxiety out of out of the mind and then the body will relax because the dancers you all do this you're all dancing with tremendous tension you're just used to it you're used to the feeling of, of, of tense shoulders, right? You know what I mean. You know, probably some of you suffer from headaches and all kinds of pains and aches and whatnot because, and it's just tension related. And so the, t the very specific type of body work that I do on my family and dancers who come see me 
is all about releasing all the tension. But it begins with how you think. It begins with your mind, your state of mind. So my whole philosophy on teaching, and it's a technique now, of course, is just let's get rid of the anxiety. Calm, placed, engagement, go. And then I repeat this over and over again. And on our subscription, you're going to see it. I'm going to teach you then, too. You have to imagine a little bit my hand on, your, on the collarbone and your back. Sometimes on the shoulders, I'll just touch the shoulders lightly on either side and just everything melts away because we all hold our tension in our upper bodies. And that radiates down. You see what I mean? But the, the number one philosophy is we have, to, we have to set up our class and our workspace and everything about what we're doing in ballet to alleviate anxiety or just let's just not begin with anxiety. That would be brilliant. You know, when I studied, when I took classes every day for seven, eight years, whatever it was, same thing, just, just I mean, oop, and you hold your breath, you know, so you have anxiety, creates tension, then you can't breathe well, and then it just, it's this cycle that continues to make everything more difficult than it needs to be. So in truth, you know, some of, um, I'm kind of rambling on here, but, um, yeah, I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So we need relieve anxiety which relieves tension, which allows you to breathe while you're moving. Think about it. Boop. 